Hey y'all, this is David, the Georgia photographer, and today we're in Chattanooga. This is a uh, huge neighborhood at the foot of Raccoon Mountain. That is Raccoon Mountain right over there. And it's a huge golf course kind of neighborhood, one of them places. But it's got beautiful manicured sidewalks. It's nice to go for a walk. And what I want to do is I'm going to review the Leica 50 millimeter Summicron R lens that I have here. And make a second attempt at this lens review. I have Teresa with me today. So let's find something to take pictures of. Well, so far at f8 this lens is producing amazing photos Teresa keeps wondering or marveling over the decorations these people put on their porches because they get these giant five foot tall nutcrackers and stand them up on either side of their steps they seem to have a particular affinity for magnolia trees there are literally there's, there's one in every yard this is what one looks like This is one right here, you know, a full size one. I think I've determined that at f8 the 50 millimeter Summicron R produces amazing photos this neighborhood doesn't hurt that it's really beautiful too but to, to give you the usual stats of the lens you have f2 to f16 it's in half stop steps uh, aperture ring is sure works fine the focus ring is right in front of it buttery smooth just as you would expect from a Leica lens. And it focuses just under 20 inches to infinity. So, and it does seem to work at infinity properly. I haven't really tested it on the Z6 to see if it focuses fast infinity. It probably does, cause you know, you're running adapters and stuff anyway. But it works. It's all metal construction. Got, I think five elements in it, I ain't real sure. I looked it up at some point, but I don't remember now. It's not really important. It takes great photos. That's what matters. But it is heavy. Now, it is a Leica R mount. And Leica has, I think, four mounts currently. They have the R mount, the M mount, the S mount, and the L mount. And then there's like an M39 screw mount from way, 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 way back when, but we ain't gonna count that one. It goes on the M's anyway. This is the R, fits their DSLR cameras. The R mount lenses are like the stepchild of the Leica family. Selling typically on, at like one fourth of the price of the M's or anything else. Same exact lens, just with a different mounting scheme on it. So if you get the opportunity to pick up an R lens, it'll work fine. Now there's a bunch of generations of R lenses. And like mine is an early two cam generation. It's got the removable lens hood. Just snaps off with these two little release buttons it pulls off the front. The later three cam and ROM lenses have like a slide out lens hood. It's the same lens, they just change the external aesthetics a little bit. So it, you're getting the same piece of equipment. Of course there is like, as time goes on, there are improvements in lens coating technology and stuff like that, that this lens doesn't have that those lenses do. But as far as optical clarity and all that, it's pretty much the same stuff all the way. All right, now that we've got Teresa her snack because she was starving to death, then well, she has so many rules about what she can and can't eat that- I wanted the Brussels sprouts. <laughs> you wouldn't wait on me. We're not getting Brussels sprouts, it takes too long. 
I don't want to wait on Brussels sprouts at the golf course clubhouse. See, why not? It looked really good. It was literally words on a sheet of paper. I don't see what she's saying about how it looked so good. She didn't. Hey, David, it had, you didn't read the description. It had, you know, good stuff on it. <laughs> it had good things listed on there, how they make it. All right. On the return trip, going back to the truck, I'm gonna dial the lens down to F2, get some photos at F2, which is wide open, and see how it performs on the way back. All right, so for the first time, I'm pulling a Phil Thatch stunt, and I'm actually gonna talk about what I got to eat. Yes, what you're seeing is chicken fingers and funnel cakes. While on the other hand, Teresa got something that is not gonna kill her <laughs> in a week. <laughs> this is gonna be so good though. y'all we're back and if you haven't done it yet subscribe right down there i'd appreciate it and a thumbs up if you like the video but to finish up here the state of confusion is a really interesting restaurant in chattanooga and if if you're into really good like it's almost like street food almost it was really interesting it's the first time we'd ever been there so we'll probably go back again it's got a real heavy bar vibe. It's like more of a casual get together sort of place than it is a technical restaurant, even though it has a lot of tables. But you could tell the way it was laid out, it was meant to be more of a hangout kind of place, like a, uh, what do they call those Southside socials and all those where they got the little ski balls and stuff. They had some of them, they just had them covered up. But getting back to the Summicron R, if you're into vintage glass, and you like using it adapted to mirrorless cameras or whatever kind of cameras you have and you can get it to fit them. The Summicron R or the R mount Leica glass from that period is amazing lenses. They're beautiful, they're easy to use, they take phenomenal photos. So with that, this is David, the Georgia photographer. And until next time, get your camera out and go take a picture with it, all right? We'll see you later, bye-bye.